Chosen 300 Ministries hosted a Thanksgiving feast for the homeless tonight. The tables were full at the Spring Garden location. And Siafalos was there. For the men, women, and children running and volunteering with and for the Chosen 300 in Spring Garden, it's business as usual. They feed the homeless and hungry six days a week, but it's especially meaningful the night before Thanksgiving. This is a place they can count on, and this is a day that we can do it when it really counts, because this is a day that other people do not serve. Most churches and various other organizations usually host breakfasts or dinners on Thanksgiving, but back to Wednesday night, we spoke to pastors who partnered with the Chosen 300 for the event. I think it's important to show the world that you know the church has hands and feet, and we're not just obligated just to the four walls, but we can come out and do really what Christ called us to do, to go ye therefore into all the world, preaching, teaching, and feeding. So we're excited to do it tonight. We spoke to a young man who came to eat. Everybody needs something like food, because not everybody has money to buy food. So I feel like we, we all need like help, so this is a place to come for the help if you need it. And a gentleman for whom the food is in many ways secondary. It shows open and off. You can come in here, pour your head on a hop, and go in on home, and do whatever you want to do. But it's some place where you can feel relaxed and understand. And then there was the sweetest eight-year-old volunteer who was there to help feed those in need with her sister and her mother. I really like it. Why do you like it? Um, I love helping those in need and seeing the smiles on their faces. And a pastor who neatly summarized exactly what we witnessed. The food is a tangible need, but we're here to also serve a spiritual need as well. In Spring Garden, Siafa Lewis, CBS3 Eyewitness News.